In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go from this to this using Generative Fill in Photoshop Beta. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. So we have our photo opened up in Photoshop. This is a shoot I did a few years back and I'm going to basically change your outfit to a totally different outfit. So first things first, we have our contextual taskbar. Now, if you don't already know what that is, basically it's a tax taskbar that helps you identify each of your next steps in the editing process. So it helps to simplify your editing workflow. Now this thing tends to move around. So pin that bar in position so it will not move. So next we're gonna come up here to our lasso tool on the top left-hand corner. Now, if you don't already know the shortcut for the lasso tool, it is very important for you to know that it is shift plus L and that will allow you to then select this hoodie that she's wearing. So we're gonna make selection around her entire hoodie so that we can change that to a different article of clothing. We're gonna change it to a different color hoodie. So now that our hoodie is selected, I'm going to click where it says generative fill. I'm going to click in that box and then I'm going to type in the text prompt black Nike hoodie. Now I do realize after having used the generative fill that it did not respond to the brand name Nike. So for future reference, if you're using generative fill, it does not recognize um, name brands as of yet. I don't know if that will ever become a thing. So just for future reference, so I just clicked generate and now I'm waiting to watch her hoodie change from basically white to black. One eternity later. Okay, so it obviously changed her hoodie to black. Now it does look slightly a bit wonky in certain areas. So we're going to see if the other variations look a little bit cleaner and better than this. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now you'll see the variations over in the properties area on the right hand side of your screen. So you will have three different variations to choose from every time. So I like the third variation the best. I think the hoodie looks very clean and also check this out. The AI added hair to my model. So not that she didn't have hair before, but it was pulled back in a bun. So it wasn't seen in the photograph, but now it added hair. And I think it just overall looks really cool. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to now select her sweatpants and change those to blue jeans. And then I'm going to click into where it says turn to fill. I'm going to type in the text prompt blue jeans. I'm going to click generate and see what happens. So voila, I now have blue jeans. We're going to check out these three other variations and see which is the best one. So here is our side by side comparison and you can see the results for yourself. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Now, why don't you guys go try changing some clothes yourself? Have some fun with this. It's new. It's exciting. Generative Phil has endless possibilities. I hope you guys definitely share this video with a friend so that they can learn something new as well. I will catch you guys in the next one.